Hey everyone, I'm Oliver and I'm Head of Communications and Growth at OneChain. We were just at four years from now in Barcelona, which is a Mobile World Congress event demonstrating our CrushChain wallet. I'm going to walk through a CrushChain transaction just in a bit. First, we'll go to our profile menu. And if you look at the top, it says unsigned which means that we haven't assigned an identity to the wallet yet. But if we click on it, we can connect with Civic and tie in our Civic identity to it. I won't walk through this just yet, but that would be the process for doing so. And your email, your phone would be added to this account. And you can also choose to upload a profile picture if you wish. Now we go back to the main home screen and you can see it says all assets. Now, if we click on all assets, we'll get access to a variety of addresses, one chain addresses and Ethereum addresses. And we've also added in an ELT token, which is a generic enterprise loyalty token. What we envision in the near future are users having a digital wallet that holds all of their assets, whether it's tokens or loyalty points or non-fungible tokens. What we want to demonstrate is a process where you're able to swap your gym loyalty points for your airline loyalty points and so forth. In this demonstration, however, I will show a crushing transaction from an Ethereum address to a one chain address. So we'll demonstrate the process for converting RVT to wrapped RVT on one chain. And for demonstration purposes, I will be using ETH test 2. ETH test 2 currently has 68.5 RBT. Now, if we click on this icon here, we'll go to the cross chain transaction menu, as well as a normal transfer. Now, the first step for doing the cross chain transaction is locking the RBT on a locked account on the Ethereum blockchain. So we first have to go to cross lock. Now we have to choose how many RVT we want to lock before converting it to WRVT on one chain. So we will do 10. And we can go to history and we can see the transaction status. And currently it's pending. Once it's done, which should only take 10 to 20 seconds, it will say success. And that means we've successfully locked the RBT in the locked account. Success. This means now that we have locked 10 RBT in the locked account and the balance should reflect. So in a few seconds, just there. Perfect. Now that we've locked the RVT, we need to send it to a one chain address. So we will choose test one two for this. So we copy the test one two address, which is on the one chain blockchain. And now we can initiate the cross pay. So we add in the one chain address here. And the next thing we have to do is choose an account from which we would pay the gas fees and we can choose any one chain address that we currently have in our wallet for doing so so we'll choose test one two to pay the gas fees and we want to send 10 rvt to our one chain address since it's already locked the final step is just creating the proxy token on one chain, which represents the RVT on Ethereum. Now, typically this also takes 10 to 20 seconds for the transaction to be a success. And once it's done, we'll see our balance here update to 23 WRVT. I'll just update it to success. 
So we should successfully see our balance in a few seconds. WRBT. So we successfully just did a crushing transaction. We converted RBT on Ethereum to WRBT on one chain, and it took less than one minute end to end. We will continue working on this wallet and we'll continue demonstrating it at different conferences. And in the near future, we will also add it to the Android store and we'll add further integrations, such as our current one with Bitcoin and any future integrations. Thank you for watching this demo. 